So often when we see a helicopter shot on television that's looking down on a disaster, a flood or a train wreck or something like that, how pleasant it is to see it looking down on the Los Angeles Coliseum where the opening ceremonies were and now in the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena where the boxing competition is taking place. Howard Cosell. Once again, the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, middleweight bout, Edward Neblett of Barbados against Virgil Hill of the United States. Virgil Hill, 20 years of age, from Williston, North Dakota. A kid getting his chance. And I think you should know more about him and his most notable victory. 1983 North American Championships, Virgil Hill outpointing Bernardo Comas of Cuba for the title, and that's when he realized he had a chance to win the Olympic gold. I asked him what such a victory would mean to him. It means everything. Um, ever since I was young, watching the 76 Olympics with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and the Spinks brothers and Howard Davis, you know, that was one of my goals, you know, I set for myself. And, you know, I've, I've accomplished that goal, not only just being here, but, you know, being around some of these famous athletes that I've, that I've seen through the years and stuff. But um, I haven't just set my goals just to make it to the Olympics, but to win the Olympics. She is West Germany. So that's the backdrop for Virgil Hill. As you look at this young man, a question about Hill, his strength, his stamina. He's been fighting a stomach virus for a couple of weeks. They almost put in an alternate for him. But at the last minute, he said he was strong enough to fight. And his head coach there, Pat Nappy, said, you've earned the chance and we're sticking with you. So Virgil Hill against a 19-year-old. Edward Neblet. There he is from Barbados, a young fighter. And the tail of the tape coming up in a moment, there it is. You can see the height advantage Hill has and the reach advantage Hill has. Ulysses Rodriguez of Venezuela is the third man in the ring. And the judges who score the fight, five of them, at ringside on a 20-point must-per-round system come from the Philippine Islands, Ecuador, South Korea, Nigeria, and West Germany. We're about ready for this bout to begin. And so it does with the electronic tone. And Hill will jab and box in the beginning, as all of the American fighters have been urged to do by coaches Pat Nappy and Roosevelt Sand.
was not a knockdown. The fighter was off balance, slipped. You can see it clearly on your screen. Again, we have the kind of fighter so far in Neblet, without polish, coming straight at the Americans, and Hill must do exactly what the American fighters have been taught to do. Move, use the ring, lateral movement, side to side, circling, moving steadily, which he's trying to do. Again, his question straight after the long-term stomach virus. Clock out of kilter here, but we have 10 seconds counting down to the end of round one, a round clearly won by Virgil Hill. We're ready for the start of round two. He's setting the first round. It was clearly Virgil Hill using the left tellingly. In fact, with one wild swing, Neblet lost his balance and went down. He is fighting a wrestling match in the manner of so many of the fighters who go against the Americans. The theory always bearing, go at the guy, crowd him, crowd him. Paul Gonzalez gave a boxing lesson to a fine fighter from South Korea. And Pat Nappy told him between rounds, just keep using that left jab, and you just saw him double on it and even triple on it. Now, in the corner, he must get out of there. That's where he could get hurt. He did get out of there. some blows when he had Hill locked into the corner. But Hill got out. This is second round action. First round in my book, clearly Virgil Hill. Hill never makes for an exciting fight, but he proved his effectiveness when he beat Bernardo Comas, the world champion from Cuba in the North American Championships. Hill is not moving now the way he did in the first round, and he may pay the piper for it. He's got to get out of that corner, and he's finally he did. But Neblet, a young man from Barbados, only 19 years of age, making his kind of fight at this point in the fight. And unless Hill reverts to what he did in the first round, he could suddenly be in trouble. is wild and has missed repeatedly. Hill with the left and right. Hill now making a mistake, slugging. He has not been boxing in this round the way he can and the way he should. Maybe it's fatigue, not making excuses for him, but he's been ill, as I told you, with a two-week-long stomach virus, and he's not fighting the way he did in the Olympic box office. Not in the second round, anyway. see if the Barbados fight and Neblet was cut in the mouth. Oh, good, good combination there by Hill. Excellent. The follow-up right after the left. And another. And Neblet stung with the right. Hill standing eight down here. Hill coming on strongly as the round comes nearly to an end. We have less than 30 seconds and Hill has restored his dominance for the moment at least very quickly in amateur boxing there are shifting ties the fight is stopped the referee stops the contest in his opinion young neblet was in deep trouble yes there was a cut inside the mouth and there is blood inside of neblet's mouth which perhaps you can see with that shot so abruptly virgil hill becomes the third American to move ahead. Three fights, three victories, as this young American boxing team continues to live up to what many of us had thought, that it may be the finest amateur boxing team ever put together anywhere. We'll be back in a minute with the winner.